Have you ever sat down to watch some television and to your horror you realised you've misplaced the remote? Luckily, there is a solution to this. Today, I'm going to show you how to swap this for this. Alexa, change channel to Netflix on TV. The build will allow us to change channel, control volume, change input, play, pause, stop, power on and power off, as well as many other functions to multiple devices. This means you could control your surround sound, TV, CD, radio, and many more devices from one simple, tiny device. This is the circuit we are going to build today. Please pause the video here if you wish to study this diagram further. For this build, we will need one ESP32 or 8266, one IR receiver, one IR LED, one NPN transistor, and one 330 ohm resistor. First off, we'll need to connect our positive and ground power rails. Next, we are going to connect our IR receiver. There are three pins on the IR receiver going from right to left. They are signal, positive, and ground. I'm connecting the signal pin to pin 12 and the positive and ground to the respective power rails. That's it for the IR receiver. Next, we're going to be wiring in the IR LED. You're going to need your transistor, a 330 ohm resistor, and your IR LED. Firstly, grab your transistor. We're going to connect the middle pin to pin 12 via a resistor. And we're going to connect the pin on the left to ground and the pin on the right to the ground leg of the LED, which is the shorter leg of the LED. The longer leg is the positive leg, and we're going to connect that to the positive power rail. That's it for this build. Now let's go to the sketch. For this upload, we are going to need to add the ESP32 or 8266 to the Boards Manager. Simply go to File, Boards Manager URLs, and paste the URLs from the description of this video. You can then go to Tools, Boards, Boards Manager, and search for and install ESP32 and then the ESP8266 if you are using that. Next, we need to install the libraries we are going to need. Simply go to Tools, Manage Libraries. We need to search for and install the following libraries. IR Remote ESP8266. Arduino JSON WebSockets and Synric Pro Libraries. With these libraries installed, you will next need my code, which can be found in the description. Simply download it and open. There are a fair few things that will need to be changed about the sketch in order to make it work with your TV, as not every remote and TV works in the same way. First of all, you will probably need to change the pins to the IR receiver and IR LEDs as they might be different in your build. Below this are the credentials that you'll need to insert from Simric Pro and your Wi-Fi password and ID. But I'll come back to this. The next part is fairly important as this is going to dictate what channels you want to use. In the example, I have three channels configured, but you can have as many as you like. I have Netflix as the first channel. This is channel zero, meaning BBC One is channel one and BBC Two is channel two, etc. These actual channel names are only recognized by Alexa and are actually predefined. So unfortunately, you can't just put any channel name in there and expect Alexa to recognize it. Amazon haven't officially published a list of supported channels, but most mainstream channels work. The best way is trial and error. You can check the serial monitor, and if the monitor prints out the channel name, then it's supported. You can also say change channel to channel 2, and this will put whichever channel is in slot 2. 
So BBC Two in my example. Next I'm going to talk about IR or an infrared and how you can put your own IR codes in the sketch. If you upload the sketch and have set up your IR receiver correctly, you should be able to simply open the serial monitor, point your TV remote at it and press any button, which should print out the code to the serial monitor. There are three parts of the code that we need. The type brand, which could be Sony, Panasonic, Samsung, etc. The actual hex code and the bit. In my example, the type here is NEC and the bit is 32. We simply copy and paste this information to an IR send code like so. Now, when you adjust the volume via Alexa, this should send whatever IR signal you put in from the ESP. I've actually put the same code several times, so it's the equivalent of pressing up on the volumes several times. This is basically how all the callback functions work in the sketch with some very minor differences, which I'll go through. For changing channels, you could put in multiple button combinations. This is particularly useful for things like Netflix, which aren't technically a channel, but an app. In my sketch, I have it send an IR code for enter and play and various combinations in order for it to open up Netflix, log in and play whatever is on my homepage. As I might have mentioned earlier, you could control multiple multimedia devices from this build and sketch. For example, I can turn on my surround sound speakers with a simple voice command. This works by simply creating two devices in Simric Pro and using an if statement in the sketch to determine what code should be sent. For example, in the mute section here, the statement is if the device ID equals TV ID 2, then send these codes. If it equals TV ID, then send these codes. This is very useful as you can combine multiple remotes into one device effectively. The callback function section dictates what abilities you want each of your devices to have. I have adjust volume, mute and power for TV2, which is my surround sound system. For my actual TV, my TV, I have them all assigned. Next, I'm going to show you where to get your Synric Pro credentials and how to sign up to Synric Pro. Once you have gone to Synric Pro's website, synric.pro, you just need to sign up. Once that is done, you will need to get the credentials. This is where your app key and app secret are. To copy and paste these into the sketch. Next, go to devices, click add device, put in the name, so TV or something, put anything in the description, change the device type to TV, leave the key to default and the room to anything you like. Just click next and next. We can now get the device ID by clicking copy here and pasting it into our sketch. If you want to add multiple devices like I discussed earlier, say surround sound system, a radio or CD player or whatever, you can repeat these steps again and copy and paste as many devices as you wish into the sketch. You can then upload your device and you are done. You can integrate Alexa into Synric Pro by simply downloading the Synric Pro skill to Alexa. To do this, click home skills and games, search for Synric Pro and install. You will also need to log in to the skill. Once you've done this, it should automatically give you your new devices in Alexa from this point. You can also have a scan for new devices if it does not appear. Once I was happy with the build, I condensed it into a much smaller design using an ESP1 board, allowing me to hide this in many places in my living room. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed this and would like to see other tutorials, please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot. Take care.